Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Nkonya, aka Ndinai Ja, 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 Ja. It's time for the goal setting series of 2020, and we are beginning at the beginning. This here is my word of the year for 2019 margin. You can see that it doesn't look very pretty, and it's I didn't make it all nice and all in vinyl because I ran out of time to do it. But this was my word of the year, and it came from a feeling of tightness. So I, I felt so tight and so pushed up against the edge in several areas of my life and began praying and thinking and just looking around at what needed to change and how I needed to do things differently and eventually the word margin came up. I needed to have space in my life. I needed to have a distance between the border, the boundary, and me. I needed some wiggle room, and that's what margin is. So I'm going to take you guys a little bit through my process for setting goals or reinforcing goals, and it's going to be a down and dirty process, uh, quick down and dirty. And I mean, there might be some stickering, but the main focus of this is to start the goal setting process, identifying your goals, identifying your word of the year, identifying the things that will stretch you, identifying the areas of your life that you want to work in now, and also comparing that with your values. So Let's start with a quick brain dump, okay? Now, if you've watched my channel, you've seen that I have several videos on budgeting and goal setting. And one of the things that I need to do, you can, you can label this brain dump, you don't have to, but just so that you guys have a focal point for this video, this is the beginning. What do I want to achieve in, in, in 2020? When I think of 2020, what are the things that, that come to mind? One of the main things that comes to mind is financial freedom from consumer debt. I have been working on this goal all of 2019 and I have been getting better and better as the year has proceeded. I do need to continue it in 2020, however. And then there are several steps to this pay off my credit cards I get you would say that I have stopped using credit cards I haven't you well I have used a credit card um, but it was because my they the folks that I was trying to use the my debit card at refused to take my debit card they had to take a credit card I was trying to rent a car um, other things as well let's see where my goals sheet is so I had this pay off credit cards save reduce expenses have sinking funds contribute to my 401k and build up my tie when I do my goal my goal um, I don't know if you call it goal checking or goal review for the for the for the year you guys will see how far I have come in all of it, but I have a, a good feeling of accomplishment with regards to several of those goals. Anyway, this is supposed to be a brain dump. A brain dump is something you want to do, just a free stream of thought. Don't try to categorize anything, just get it down on paper. For example, I uh, have more activity time outdoors I want more activity time outdoors. This would give me some family time as well. I want to go out on more dates. I haven't given myself the opportunity to date because I've said, oh, I'm busy and this and that and this and that. I want to use my cricket. I've had a cricket for several months now 
I haven't used it. I also want to use my sewing machine. <laughs> yes, because I have a sewing machine which has remained in the box. I haven't even opened the box. I need to pay off uh, my IRS debt. I would need to, I want to lose some weight. I want to lose 20 pounds. I also want to increase, I want to grow my YouTube channel. Yes, I want no less than 5,000 subscribers in the year 2020. So please call your friends, subscribe to the channel. Uh, I, th I, th I want to buy a car. I want to buy a car. I want to get my, I want to get my forerunner. I'll in fact show you, show you something now. And this is why people talk about having vision boards and things that, things that are visual reminders of your goals. I made this to motivate myself to save for a down payment for a car. The thing you can see in the background is a Toyota 4Runner, my dream car, which I had, or I bought in 2014, and it was totaled in an accident. I was in the middle of a uh, double, whatchamacallit, a, a sandwich. A truck hit me from behind and pushed me and hit a truck in front of me. So that was totaled, it was gone. A lot of things have happened since then, but I do want to go back. So I want to buy this forerunner. I want to save a down payment for it. I also want to. Did I write? Do I want a date? Okay, go to more dates. Okay. Oh, started to write something there, and I just had to cancel it. Anyway, I want to. Um, I want to get customers. Oops get customers in my side hustle and I'll let you guys know what that side hustle is soon I also want to increase my sinking funds I don't have sinking funds for all the areas of my life where I need it and yeah I want to do that what else? What else? What else? What else? What else is coming to mind? What else is coming? Oh, the big one. One big one. I want to save one month of living expenses. One month's living expenses. This is a big one because I am a single mom and I earn just one income. Current. I currently earn one income. That's going to change very soon. Uh, but... I want to have at least one month's uh, one month's worth of living expenses. Save one month's living expenses. I don't know if the English right here is correct, but I would like to have a chunk of money, um, a chunk of money <clears throat> that I can use in a month. Now let's. So I've put all these things down on paper, right? I think I was about to get sidetracked. For me. This one month of living expenses would be uh, no less than three times this amount right here. So, yeah, no less. We can. I'll probably round it up, and that would be about a month of living expenses. So, I have all of these things down, right? Uh, yeah, pay off credit cards, activity time outdoors. Now. I've put all this down. Most of it is personal and finance and all that and all that and all that. And I need to categorize that. How do I need to categorize that? After you've put down your brain dump, <clears throat> you need to sort. You need to sort all those items. And I should probably get another sheet of paper. But you need to, you need to sort all those items. You need to sort them into personal, career, financial 
I think I'll leave those three. There's one more that's written in my EC goal planner. <clears throat> Let's see what that is. Oh, about the wrong thing. Whoops, excuse me. Aha. Personal, career, financial. That is literally what I wrote. Okay. Okay. Seems like we are in sync here. So it's important to sort them into personal, career, and financial. Now this is where one could color code. You could choose a color for each of these. I will choose green for financial. I think I'll choose red for career. There's the red pen. And I don't know if I want to call it career. Most of the goals here aren't career related. No, I'll leave it. I'll leave it as red. And blue for personal, right? So I'm going to come down here and just circle. I'm going to circle all of these. So this is financial. Do, 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 do. This is financial. This is financial. This is financial. This is financial. By my forerunner. It's partly financial and partly personal. But yeah. And then let's see what here is career related. Yep. This is career related. I don't know if you want to. Yeah, it's career related. It's work related. So you can call it career related. Uh, and the rest of them are personal. This is, this is, this might be both. Yeah, this might be both personal and career. I feel like I should use a different blue. Let's use the darker blue. And now you have that. When you do that, you go on the next page or wherever you are and then just put put all those put all those things down, right? So you have your personal You have your financial. And let's leave some space. And then you have your career. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And then you have career. I'm just going to put that over here. Actually, this should be red. And then when you're done sorting all the items, the next thing you have to do is see if they align with your values. Now, I don't want to, you know, put them into the categories here. That'll that'll take too long but I'll show you when I finish writing it down. But we're going to use it as like this. I think I need to zoom out a little bit. Now, one thing you need to ask yourself in the process of setting your goals is, do these things that I have brain dumped match my values? Do they match your values? And I'm going to use stickers to try and help me um, figure this out. I have some of these stickers from last year's um, last year's box, uh, last year's Happy Planner box. Let's just put something down that says values. There's another sheet that I had. Aha, here it is. So. Hopefully this video isn't too long for you guys, but this is part one. I'm going to, I think we'll, we'll stop it after we do this values sheet because 
the next thing you'll use you'll use this to prioritize your prioritize the goals and things you've written down and see if I almost wonder if I should not use this and go back to what I was doing hello possibilities yeah maybe that should call that a vision I can always do it again no problem This is slightly crooked, but the crookedness or lack of crookedity, I just invented that word, me. The crookedness is not a problem. So you align the things you've brain dumped, the things that you've said that you want to do with your values. Now, what are the things that are important to you? Um, good thing we have stickers to help us because if you cannot draw, don't have the time to draw, don't have any inclination to draw you know you might be a little you might feel a little disheartened one of the things that is very important to me is travel I love to take the scenic route let's go somewhere is something my kid loves to say so that's something that I like to do and we like to do. Travel is a big is a big um, part of our lives. It is also aligned with family. Spending time with family, love, acceptance, community, health. Yes. Haha, <laughs> sunshine, sunshiny days. So that's the first, that's the first one. Find the things that are important to you and put them down and be sure that you have your values down on paper. Now I'm just going to finish up this sheet and I will be right back. Okay. I'm back, put together a bunch of stickers and washi and different things just to decorate the page talking about my values. Now I know the values is crooked if I have time and um, you know what, I'm going to accept it as it is because the important thing is not it being straight, properly aligned. The important thing is that I know these things, I recognize them. And I can write them out. So, traveling, very important to me. Family trips. But first, God. Let's start at the beginning. It's important for me to have goals and crush my goals. Uh, it's important to me to be brave, brilliant, and bold. I've experienced things in my life where I was extremely fearful and I doubted myself. I was timid. I was abused I was intimidated and that time is over you know that time is over oh maybe I should bring this a little closer so that you can see most of these are from the happy planner if it's not from the happy planner it's from oh so paper this is my mini nista and that's my son in the position where my heart is it's important for me to stay active it's important for me to make time for myself and a partner it's important for me to be present over perfect when you have a problem with perfectionism it's important to stay in the moment and be present instead of perfect it's important for me to recognize that god is with me and that if i stumble i should just make it part of the dance it's important for me to get paid yes <gasps> moolah it's important for me to save and do things that will give myself a payday. 
It's important to me that when I rise, I should take my time to worship. It's important for me to travel and be with friends and family. It's important for me to take the scenic route. And it's important for me to believe. So these are things that are my values. So after you have done your brain dump, now you don't need to do something as elaborate as this. You can just write out all the things that are important to you. Is it important for you to be with family? Is it important for you to travel? Is it important for you to maintain friendships? How, if you have children, how is your time with them important to you? How do you deal with mistakes? What is your faith situation? Is it important to you to exercise, to eat right? Judge or weigh the things that you have dumped over here with your values. And when you've decided on the things that you do want to have as goals, then we can move on. In the second stage of this series, we shall be going over mind mapping. So the first thing we've done is the brain dump. The second thing that we did was the values. The next two things would be the mind mapping and the word clouds. And after that, then we go into the goals. By the time we get into the word cloud, we would have identified our word for the year. So that's that. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. If this is your first time watching, please subscribe. Leave me a comment down below in the comment section. What are your thoughts? Have you brain dumped for the year 2020? Are you set already on your word of the year? Have you identified your values and the things that are important to you and your family or just to you in person? If you have not, I would encourage you to do so. All right. Thanks, y'all.